to ensure the best recreational fishing opportunities in Nebraska. Nebraska Game and Parks operates five fish hatcheries across the state. These hatcheries employ many tools to maintain and enhance our state's fish populations. Come join us as we go behind the scenes into one of the country's most impressive fish spawning operations of walleye. Walleye are one of the top five commonly sought after sport fish. So let's see how Nebraska Game and Parks is helping anglers catch these beautiful aquatic creatures. The first step to spawning is collecting the male and female fish in nets, each stretching over 300 feet. These nets hang like a curtain six feet into the water with the help of weights along the bottom. Bright buoys attached at each end help the collection team locate nets at night and alert the public to the net's location. To maximize efficiency, the fishery staff identifies ideal spawning locations, typically in six to 10 feet of water. Four to 12 nets are set at dusk, and with at least two hours of soaking time, the staff will be back to retrieve the nets at night. While the nets soak to offer the best chance of getting contact with fish, male walleye are targeted with electrofishing. Specially equipped boats use an electric field to briefly immobilize the fish without harming them. As the stunned fish surface, fishery staff use nets to place them in a live tank. The fish caught are then stored in overnight pens, where they'll be joined by the netted fish soon. Sun sets, and the nets have had time to do their job, so the fishery team gets back on the water. Spotlights are used to locate the buoys and illuminate the fast pace and precision work of pulling nets. All females are picked from the nets with extreme care to limit any unwanted release of eggs. The netted fish are placed into a live well supplied with supplemental oxygen. This allows for a larger amount of fish while reducing stress. Once the well is full, the walleye are transferred into holding cribs at the spawning location. The amount and length of these collections is affected by catch rates and weather. Milt is the reproductive fluid of male walleye and must be delicately extracted by compressing the abdomen. The milt is collected in an aspirator, which prevents contamination and is kept on ice for preservation. This straw-like device pulls the milt from the male into a collection jar. No more than one milliliter of milt is taken from each male, which ensures viability and diversity for the next generation of walleye. A single milliliter of milt is measured into a syringe and placed into a test tube. Two milliliters of a sugar and salt solution called milt extender is added to keep the sperm viable until it can be used for spawning. Now it is time to sort the females based on their readiness to express eggs. Fish without readily available eggs are moved to a separate holding pen to be checked the next day. Once the females are sorted, small batches of fish are placed in a tank and taken into the spawning site. Females are carefully handled, making sure to cover the vent. Keeping everything dry gives the best chance for successful fertilization. The females are taken to a fishery staff member seated on the horse. The bench is designed to hold a pan that captures the eggs as they're extracted from the female. Now that the male walleyes milt and female walleyes eggs have been collected, it is time to fertilize. A single test tube of the milt with extender is added to the freshly collected eggs. Water is added to the milt and egg mixture, which activates the sperm. 
The milt is stirred while active for roughly 45 seconds. A turkey feather or soft brush is used for stirring to protect the eggs. Stirring maximizes the egg's exposure to the milt. A high quality clay called Fuller's Earth is mixed in water to create muck. Muck is added immediately to the fertilized eggs to prevent the eggs from clumping together. The fertilized eggs are gently poured into a hatching jar. These hatching jars are placed on a hatching battery and connected to a water source. The running water flows into the jars and creates an upswell similar to a lava lamp. This upswell rolls the eggs and expels the excess clay mixture. Once the eggs are cleared of clay, fishery staff monitor the hatching battery and the hardening process begins. The eggs swell over two times their original size during this water hardening. We've talked about a lot so fast. Let's see the spawning process in action. This process is repeated for two to three days, followed by rigorous work to successfully raise these eggs. Once the eggs are ready for transport from the spawning site to the hatchery, they're carefully moved into 100 quart coolers. These coolers are filled with fresh water to provide oxygen and reduce agitation. Eggs are delivered to specific hatcheries based on the needs of Nebraska's lakes. The eggs are inspected upon arrival and placed back into hatching jars. The jars are filled with three quarts of eggs and kept on the hatching battery at the fish hatchery. Total egg volume is measured to determine the number of viable eggs. Nebraska's fish hatcheries support up to 1,000 quarts of eggs, which is about 130 million walleye. Approximately 70% of the eggs hatch and are stocked into lakes and hatchery ponds as fry. Now that you know how hard we're working to provide the best walleye fishing, get out on the water and catch one yourself.